Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids in Chicago. It's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com. Rachel Maddow went went nuts. <laughs> Again. And uh, the last time we, re- we, reply- we did a report on Rachel Maddow being nuts, um, it got demonetized. So we'll, we'll see what happens here. I think Rachel Maddow has a as a real lover inside the monetization room at YouTube, but we'll see. Rachel Maddow claims Lord of the Rings is a favorite of far right figures. You think I'm kidding? Does does far right just mean dorks? <laughs> because I know it's a favorite of dorks. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I mean, she says, uh, so let's let's listen to it. Let's listen to what she says. Um, like Mr. Teal, who has named his companies after things in the Lord of the Rings series of J.R.R. Tolkien books. Uh, Lord of the Rings is a sort of favorite um, cosmos for naming things and cultural references for a lot of far right and alt right figures, both in Europe and the United States. Peter. Chris, could you believe this? Are you shaking your head? Is this at this right? Now, Lord of the Rings is now far right, white supremacist, racist. J.D. Vance isn't a white supremacist because he likes Lord of the Rings. Maybe it's because now he's working with a guy he once called Hitler. You ever think of that? (laughs) This is real. She's really saying this. Um, like Mr. Teal, who has named his companies after things in the Lord of the Rings series of J.R.R. Tolkien books. Uh, Lord of the Rings is a sort of favorite um, cosmos for naming things and cultural references for a lot of far right and alt right figures, both in Europe and the United States. Peter Teal names all these things after Tolkien figures and places like his company Palantir, for example, um, like his mentor, like Peter Teal, who had given him all his jobs in the world. Mr. Vance also, when he founded his own venture capital firm with help from Peter Thiel, named it after a Lord of the Rings thing. He called it Naria, N-A-R-Y-A, which you can remember because it's Aryan, but you move the end to the front. If you just move letters around, <laughs> if you just take if you just take the letters and jumble them up, they say different things. And lots of times you can make them say stuff like Nazis and Aryan. This is real. She just did that. She just did that. She they took a, a uh, she is mental. She called it Naria, N A R Y A. Naria, but if you take the N away and you put it at the end, it's Aryan. You can remember because it's Aryan, but you move the end to the front. That's how you remember it, she said. That's how, that's how you remember it. The woman with the Tucker Carlson haircut, the Megyn Kelly eyelashes, and the man jeans. <laughs> Talk about someone in conflict with themselves. And now she's could cut. This is Alex Jones can come anywhere close to the shit that is being said on a daily basis at MSNBC. So these people are now white supremacists. <laughs> if you misspell the names of the companies they've formed. Naria, N-A-R-Y-A, which you can remember because it's Aryan, but you move the end to the front. Uh, apparently that word has something to do with elves and rings. Can you do that with anything? I wish I could think of something off the top of my head. <laughs> hey, if you put, if, you, if it's mad owl and you take one of the D's and you put a C in there, that's mad cow. You're trying to infect people's brains <laughs> with a virus. <laughs> mad cow. <laughs> like, you could just do that all day long. And Jimmy Dore, if you put a, take the D and you put it over there and you put an H in front, it says it's a whore. That means he's going to sell out. <laughs> what the fuck? She literally just did that. A company, a company that he found is called Naria, which is after something in, in the uh, Lord of Rings. After a Lord of the Rings thing, he called it Naria. So it's, it's something in the Lord of the Rings, Naria. 
just like Palantir, just like, oh, by the way, you would think that this incredible journalist, Rachel Maddow, would mention that the CIA actually uses Palantir to monitor American political dissidents. Kind of seems more important than this nerd fantasy angle. So, so he, they, she admits that he gets all the names of his shit from Lord of the Rings, and then she just says one of the words from Lord of the Rings is Aryan. If you if you misspell it, and you can't make I couldn't make this shit firm. up, but guess who could? Rachel Maddow. With help from Peter Thiel, named it after a Lord of the Rings thing. He called it Narya, N-A-R-Y-A, which you can remember because it's Aryan, but you move the end to the front. Uh, apparently that word has something to do with elves and rings from the Lord of the Rings series. I don't know. Um, boy, like Mr. Thiel. Boy, she doesn't know, but she certainly knows a lot of things about this things that she claims she doesn't know anything about. <laughs> I don't know. It's Paris has something to do with this or that. I don't know. But you do know Naria. If you take the N off, it's Aryan. That's how you remember it. That's basically the way Rachel Maddow operates. And either you go along with it or you get called a phobe or an ist. has named his companies after things in the Lord of the Rings series of J.R.R. Tolkien books. Uh, Lord of the Rings is a sort of favorite um, cosmos for naming things and cultural references for a lot of far-right and alt-right figures, both in Europe and the United States. Peter Thiel names all these things after Tolkien figures and places, like his company Palantir, for example. Um, like his mentor, like Peter Thiel, who had given him all his jobs in the world, Mr. Vance also, when he founded his own venture capital firm with help from Peter Thiel named it after a Lord of the Rings thing. He called it Narya, N-A-R-Y-A, which you can remember because it's Aryan, but you move the end to the front. Uh, apparently that word has something to do with elves and rings from the Lord of the Rings series. I don't know. You know, maybe he named it after something from the Lord of the Rings. Maybe J.D. Vance named it Narya after something from the Lord of the Rings, because his biggest donor is Peter Thiel, and that's his gig. And so maybe it proves that he's more of just a basic run-of-the-mill ass-kisser trying to flatter the guy who's given him his, his business start and funded his political campaigns. You ever think about that? Nah, I bet it's got something to do with Aryans. You can't make this shit up. It is interesting watching Rachel Maddow turn into Jim Garrison from the movie JFK, tying everything together in the great conspiracy of 2024. That being that, and her great conspiracy, that being that a couple of guys enjoyed a book dealing with very basic level good versus evil shit. According to a wiki page dedicated to the series Naria, or the Ring of Fire, was described by Tolkien as having the power to inspire others to resist tyranny, domination, and despair, as well as having the power, in common with the other three rings, to hide the wielder from remote observation, except by the wielder of the one, and giving resistance to the wariness of time. I think I just became a virgin again just by reading that. <laughs> Maddow's monologue preceded one from her colleague, Alex Wagner, who accused Vance of dropping an Easter egg of white nationalism <laughs> by mentioning that he hoped to be buried in his family's plot in Kentucky during his speech. So by mentioning that he hoped to be buried in his family's plot in Kentucky, according to Alex Wagner, that is dropping an Easter egg of white nationalism. There's nothing more racist than wanting to be buried next to your family. Well, except for being married to a woman of color, which J.D. Vance actually is. Total racist. It's like when they call Bill Burr a racist. They, and they, they would point it out his wife is black. They go, oh, a lot, a lot of racists do that. Uh. 
They go marry black women and have half black kids. But you, you can't be surprised by any of this with a guy who uses initials like he's a country western star. Am I right? J.D. Vance I'm talking about. <laughs> expect to, I expect to see him playing the Las Vegas Strip sometime soon. Oh, by the way, guess who else loves Lord of the Rings? Stephen Colbert. Uh-oh. One of the most famous Lord of the Rings superfans is Stephen Colbert, meaning Rachel Maddow now thinks that Colbert is a far-right figure. Uh, but I'm just guessing that if you were into Dungeons & Dragons, you must have been into Lord of the Rings. Yes. Yes, I was. I will just say this to you, Conan. Ellen Silla Lumen Omentielvo. <laughs> or don't you speak Quenya? <laughs> <laughs> No one speaks high elvish in this room? Oh, no. Stephen Colbert speaks Aryan. <laughs> Much like a historical Nazi, he hates Russians, and he was all in on lockdowns and mandatory experimental gene therapy. That's your latest cuckoo bird, Rachel Maddow, <laughs> off her nut <laughs> with her Megyn Kelly eyelashes. I like I like what lesbians wear the when butch lesbians wear the Megan Kelly eyelashes. Those are my favorite. And you pair it up with the Tucker Carlson haircut and some man jeans. That's a that's a psychiatrist's dream. <laughs> and then you call everything you don't like white supremacist. This is it's like a cartoon watching MSNBC now. They're like a cartoon. And F you if you can't handle the truth. This is the best version of Joe Biden. They just did that. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Putin's going to turn off all your heat in the, in the winter. Poof, just like that. Putin's going to do that. Remember that? Remember Russiagate? Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids in Chicago. It's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com.